Hey everyone, welcome back to Duke Outdoors. If you're new here, my name is Sheldon Marion. Today, we're joined by a Rocky boy and a little Miss Daisy girl. And today, we're going on chicken hunt. Oh, missed him. Well, there's a chicken. We got this bipod on from uh, when we were sighting in the gun. I usually don't use one while I'm chicken hunting, but I'll give her a go. <laughs> Missed him. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> All right, so for you guys that have been around here for a while and you've seen quite a few of my videos, you know that I don't miss chickens all that often. I don't know if I was just having an off day or what the deal is. New gun, ah, first time out this year, I don't know. But it is a bit of a comic relief. In the end, we do get the chicken. Don't you worry. <laughs> Let's get back into it. Well now this thing's just spitting bullets everywhere. Well I'm not too happy with that. Jeepers. That was terrible. There's a couple that flew up there that first shot. So I'm just gonna grab a couple bullets here first. And then we'll run up there and grab our chicken. There's one or two others that kind of flew up and went in there somewhere. There's a bunch of them in here, but there are in there a little ways, keep hearing them fly away. We'll see if there's any stuck around. Ah, uh, those two, they were hanging out right in here, but. <laughs> You dirty pot liquor. There's one right here and he just flew over there. I might be able to see him. I will just go in there for a little ways. I wanna say he landed in this tree here. <laughs> you did land in that tree. <sighs> At least I can see the trees that he landed in again.
I'll get right underneath him, he'll fly away again. <laughs> so I can hear one over here. I can hear one somewhere here, and then there's one like way over there somewhere too. Okay, this guy, he's right here. Usually when they're doing that kind of throat noise, you'll see their tail kind of flickering a bit. So that's what I'm looking for right now on the trees. But I'm not seeing them. He's between one of these two trees right here. Like now to the point where if I do see him, I'll be shooting up his butt. Cause I'm directly underneath him. Why couldn't he be just standing up on one of the branches on the end? That's going high in the center of the tree. Uh, there he goes again, chirping at me. <laughs> Gee, I've never hunted so hard for a chicken before. Like, why can't you just fly away and just be done with it? Got him! <laughs> Holy cow! Oh! You ever had a chicken hunt where you're glad it's over? <laughs> oh jeepers holy cow there let's make our way back to the road <laughs> now that, that commotion is over and we'll grab our other chicken Oh, there's another chicken. Oh, yeah. There, two chickens. Not a bad day. All right, guys. So we finally made it happen. <laughs> I don't think I've, uh, I don't think I've had to work that hard for a chicken before, but. We got them. Uh, seeing how uh, it's real early in the season and it's uh, it's pretty warm out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the chicken up real quick uh, before we make our way home. Just because we're a little ways away from the house. And I have a cooler with me with a little ice pack. So I'd rather have this chicken in the cooler on ice instead of uh, pretty well sitting in the box of the truck with all the innards and stuff. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll run you through how I clean my chickens. Uh, it's a very, very easy and quick way to doing it. Basically what I do, grab them by their feet, take my hand, I put it in there so my index finger is between the feet. And then with one foot, I grab it with my thumb. The other foot, I grab it with these two fingers here. And on their breast right here, it comes up to a point. So if you take your fingers and you just lightly squeeze and follow that up, 
right here it comes to a point so what I do is I grab right here and I just pull down on it so when you pull on it it pulls all of this back and away from the meat and then what I do is I expose the V that's at the top of their breast here so you can see that V and I take my finger and I go down inside right now you want to go as far in to about your your I guess your second knuckle that would be then I take my other finger you see here this here is its neck now you can either grab the neck or you can put your finger down inside here as well what I like to do is I like just to grab its neck and give it a pull see and then when you do that what you're left with is here's all the guts and here's the breast notice how this didn't come anywhere near the ground so the typical way of doing it is you spread their wings and you put one foot on each wing you pull their feet up you get the same end result but then what you're left with is that a lot of times this touches the ground and I don't like doing that I like to keep my stuff nice and clean and then you really you know you, you pull a couple of these feathers away from the breast and like you don't even have to do this part I just kind of like to do that and then also one thing I like to do uh, when you're doing it this way a lot of times in the center here you're left with the heart what I do with my hearts is I pull them out and I like to feed these to the dogs so I'll show you that here in a minute they love these things but anyways I'll put the heart to the side here and then I'll get to cleaning the second one and uh, yeah then we'll be good to go here uh, also when you're cleaning out in the field like this uh, in BC anyways you have to leave at least one wing attached so this wing you need this attached that way if I get pulled over on the way home I can tell them I got two chickens they're both spruce gross he'll grab this if you can't tell from the meat <laughs> eh, he'll be able to look at the wing and say yep that's a spruce gross wing so in that way up here it's a little bit different because you're allowed uh, between blue grouse rough grouse and spruce grouse you're allowed a combined limit of 10 uh, the only ones that aren't in there is the sharp tail sharp tail you're only allowed, allowed three but you still have to keep that wing on just for identification purposes but anyways guys that's how I clean my chickens and now we're gonna make our way home because it's getting a little too dark to continue hunting Hey Days, Rock, you want chicken heart? Hey, come get your heart, Rock. <laughs> come on, come get your heart, buddy. Here you go, my friend. Do you not want it? Oh, there you go, Rock. That's my buddy, huh? Oh, that's, hey, that's my finger. That's my finger, bud. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, good boy. We're chicken hunting again, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love that dog. Alrighty, guys. So I got back last night and uh, brought the chickens inside. I quickly just kind of knocked the meat off the breastbone, threw them into a bowl of water and let them chill overnight. Now they are pretty well ready to be cooked. Just drying them off. Here we are working on a little bit of rice and some steamed broccoli. And then for this chicken, I think what we're gonna be doing is just like a steak spice and a little bit of seasoning salt. So we're just gonna keep things nice and simple here today. So we got our steak spice, a little bit of seasoning salt, 
And then we'll just come over here. We'll toss them onto our little uh, flat pan here. Get a little touch of oil first. And on goes the chicken. There we go. I'm not going to do anything real fancy here tonight. Just keep it nice and simple. Season the other side here now. Then once this cooks for a couple of minutes, we'll give her a flip. Uh, what we'll end up probably doing is pulling these little chicken tenders off so these pieces right here we'll pull those off and then that way uh, it cooks all the way through sometimes if you leave them on like that yeah you, uh, you won't really kind of cook all the way through on one side but that's an easy fix get some seasoning salt on that side now it's basically just sit and wait for a few minutes, let them cook up. Pretty sure our broccoli and rice is done. Uh, I guess in the meantime I can get some cheese with microwave or something, but other than that, we're just waiting on chicken to cook. Alrighty, so we flipped the chicken here. We flipped out the uh, little chicken tenders there. So we'll, uh, we'll let it cook here for a little bit and then we'll probably I will most likely just pull the chicken tenders off, give them a little flip, that way they uh, are for sure cooked all the way through. And a few more minutes here now, and we'll be uh, getting to eat. Well you guys, cooked up our chicken, got some chicken, rice, some broccoli, pretty fancy meal for living out in the bush here. <laughs> Anyways guys, hope you liked this video, if you did. Make sure you hit that like button, uh, leave us a comment or two, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you on the next one.